Hey folks, this is John Oaks here with Hangsters Hot Rods. Today at our Homer City, Pennsylvania location, we have yet another addition to our inventory to go over with you. And that would be this beautiful car sitting behind me here. This is a 1996 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am here. I'll give you kind of the, the rundown of the car, the gist of it, before we start our walk around. That way you kind of know, you know, pretty much what, you know, everything is with the car. So again, 96 Pontiac Trans Am. Uh, it's got the WS6 performance package on it. Um, so you're going to have uh, the Ram Air hood on it. You're going to have the rear trunk spoiler. Uh, as far as the drive line on this car, um, that's going to consist of the 5.7 liter uh, 350 LT1 motor, um, the Borg Warner T6 six speed manual transmission, and then of course the GM 10 bolt rear end. It it does in fact have the 350 gearing in it and it does have the posi unit in the differential there um, suspension pretty much all factory stuff here you do in fact have the inch and a quarter front sway bar i believe it's a three quarter inch rear sway bar but you do have both sway bars front and rear um, all the control arms and such are all factory um, the shocks are the delco uh, de carbon shocks so again all of that stuff pretty much you know what this car would have come with from the factory including the ex the whole entire exhaust system for this car it is also power steering power brake all four wheel disc brakes on the car with the 17 inch wheels uh, and of course the tires there also so uh, with that that's kind of like the gist of it uh, what we're going to go now do is walk around it i'll point out some things and go over it with you uh, just to kind of see the condition as we go around the car here so starting here up towards the front we'll get to the nose when we get to the hood and everything but again like i said there the ram air hood on these cars now that hood just looks super good on these vehicles here again it's all factory so the fitment and everything is all good on this car here um, the wheels and tires I did mention those already 17 inch the five spoke aluminum alloy wheels here and again they are the Falcon Azenus tires all four corners so again you're gonna have matching tread and it's matching tire sizes on all four corners 275 40 ZR 17s on this car so that's gonna make rotating your tires very very simple just move them front to back you don't have to worry about any differences there um, as far as you know coming back the side of the car again um, I've been kind of all around the car and everything looks looks really really good on this car of course with the newer cars we don't get too much involved in going over things such as gaps and elevations like we do on our classics um, only because you know the fitment is exactly what it would have been from the factory here um, so again you know all of your body lines all match up the paint and everything all looks good you do have the moldings here the same color as the body color here which by the way is the correct color the bright red Red there I believe it's code 81 V uh, but again that is the factory color for this car but again you've got the Trans Am just below the uh, body molding there on the door there the lower portion of the door there the black door handles you do in fact have the dual side mirrors here which again are done in the body color um, the mirrors are in great shape uh, glass on those also in great condition as far as the glass itself goes well you can obviously Obviously, see it is tinted uh, tinted side windows tinted rear windows and of course the tinted t-tops here also which makes this car very enjoyable to drive in the summertime again the glass is in great shape there's no chips cracks or scratches on any of the glass really that I have seen as I've walked around the car and again all of your moldings and such around the windows and the doors and everything are all in great condition so it looks like it's been a very well taken care of car and it is a low mileage car too so um, you'll have that as well let's go ahead open up our door 
check out the interior here from the driver's side. Again, you've got the, uh, we'll call it out as maybe like a dark gray or maybe a charcoal, almost looks black uh, interior there for you. Uh, and again, there's nothing out of the ordinary here in the interior of this car. All factory original here uh, and in great condition. So you've got the buckets up front here, buckets on the back, all your seat belts are all present. You've got the power seat here on the driver's side. Uh, you've got driver's side and passenger side airbags in this vehicle. Uh, of course, the factory center console there with the correct six-speed shifter in it. Um, the climate controls, the factory Delco AM FM CD player there on, in it as well. The dash is in great condition. Carpeting, no rips, tears, or fading there either. And it does, in fact, have power windows and power locks there as well. Door panels are in great shape. I'll sneak in here. We'll take a look at those seals all the way around the window, which again are in great condition. Uh, the door threshold plates here done in the black also, and those are in great shape. I really don't see any scuffs or anything on those. And then again, your door, you've, and it all, it'll all seal up good because again, your seals on this particular car are on the interior portion of the car, not so much on your door. Uh, all the factory labels and stickers all present too on the car. So you'll be able to see all the codes and everything for how this car was ordered and how it was manufactured. So we'll close this up and we'll continue around the car. So again, we've already mentioned the wheels, tires, disc brakes, all four corners, um, complete with the emergency brake too as well, all hooked up, all functional. Um, your gas fill door right here. So again, that's in great shape. The rear window, big windows on these cars here as they slope back, as you can see here, all tinted, and it does in fact have the rear defroster here in it as well to keep it all cleared off on those cold mornings. The trunk lid itself, or the hatch as we would call it on this particular car, you've got that one piece uh, hatch spoiler back here with the third brake light in it. Again, that fits all well. Again, like, like we would expect, again, all the fitment on the car is in great shape. Your tail light lenses are in great condition back here. There's no chips or cracks anywhere on these tail lights. Um, again, this is exactly how this car would have come. Uh, the rear bumper paint looks very nice on the rear bumper here. Uh, again, with the, uh, the Trans Am, you've got those urethane bumpers there. So that's in good shape there. Of course, you see the Pontiac there, which is embossed into that rear panel. The Trans Am with the actual Firebird here uh, on that center uh, cover back here where your lock would be for your trunk. And then, of course, you do have the WS6 badging back here as well. Now, we'll go ahead and open up our trunk lid. So we've got the keys for it and it works either way. You can either use the key to get in or you can use the key fob itself. So we'll go ahead and we'll operate it with the key fob. So you hear it kind of relax, release there. So as we lift up on it, again, you'll notice it does in fact have the uh, struts back here for the rear hatch and those function as they should, holding it up on its own and they assist with the uh, lift of it there as you come up with it in the air. The interior back here looks in excellent condition here. As you can see now, the very back of your rear seat here, that does flip down. Uh, so again, you can fold that down, have it for a little bit of extra storage if you need it. Of course, you can see all of your interior panels all the way around, all of your carpeting and everything, all in great condition on this car. There is no, uh, no disappointments whatsoever here as far as the interior goes on this vehicle. Of course, you can see you've got some speakers back here as well, as well as back on the, uh, the rear panels in the car. And then I believe it's got the speakers up in the door panels also for it. So the sound system is gonna be decent. Again, it's factory original. So so again, should have no issues with any of that. And you can see the panels up here on the, uh, the hatch itself are all in great shape. I see like no, no scratches or no wear marks or anything in here. Just an overall very nice looking vehicle here all the way around. We'll close this up. Okay. 
and then we'll come around the passenger side of the car. So over here, we do have the quarter panel mounted power antenna for the radio. So of course, whenever you turn the radio on, that antenna is gonna power up so you get better reception. Wheels and tires on all four corners are in great condition here. Um, so it really doesn't look like uh, they've ever curbed the car or anything like that. Everything's all in very nice condition. We come over here now, we'll check out our glass over here on the passenger side. Again, no chips, cracks, or scratches either on the passenger door window or on the T-tops themselves. Uh, your door fitment is great. Again, you've got those moldings down here across the door there just for some protection. And again, where they are, the way the body is on these cars kind of flares out there. So that's why those moldings are down a little bit lower. That's your most outer you know, part to that door. So if anybody were to swing a door open and get up against it, you're gonna contact that molding before you do anything else and again the matching badging here the Trans Am there down below with your ground effects obviously for the Trans Am we'll go ahead and open up our passenger door now that way you just get to see the interior kind of all the way around of course your front seats as I failed to mention they do have the headrests in them also uh, seats are very comfortable in this car too they've got really good you know lumbar support there as they wrap around your sides um, just a comfortable seat once you get in the car there uh, again all of your seals all the way up around for your windows here and all the way around the bottom of the door here those are going to seal up excellent there from any of the outside elements um, again that's pretty much it for the interior again like i said it's all oem all factory so there's nothing you know nothing uh other than factory stuff to really go over with the car and then we'll kind of come around to the front end of the vehicle here. So obviously with the 96 uh, Trans Am here, again, you're gonna have that urethane bumper up front. The actual bumper itself is in really good condition. You do have the Firebird emblem here up on the, uh, the front edge there of that nose piece. Now I will tell you that just normal wear and tear on the car, um, there are a few chips on the front end of the car, just very small ones, very minute chips on it um, but again you'll get that on any car that you drive uh, and again that's what this car was it was a driver for a little bit uh, and then the gentleman decided to put it up and kind of keep it in a collection almost so as far as the hood goes you see the front of the ram air hood as i said a very nice looking hood for these cars and of course they do have the flip up headlights on them also which do work they are functional so uh, as we come back here of course the windshield shield on the car um, you can tell it's slightly tinted also um, and again no chips or cracks anywhere on the windshield itself that's in great shape windshield wipers again you can see how nice everything is there is not a mark on these wipers um, just a great all-around looking car so with that said, now that we've been all the way around the car, I'm going to pull the hood release so that we can pop that hood open and take a look at the engine here next. So as you can see, the hood release does in fact work. So we'll come around here and raise our hood up. All right, and there you have the underside of the hood. Again, just like the hatch on the back, you've got the uh, strut rods back here for the assist on that, and they are functioning. They work perfect there. Underside of the hood, done in the same red as the exterior of the car. Again, everything's in excellent shape. As you can see, all of your decals that came on this car, they are still all there present. As far as the motor goes, again, this is the correct motor for the car. The LT1 350 5.7 liter V8 there. Again, it is a fuel injected car. So you got the throttle body injection here with the Ram Air hood there. You've got this nice little air box right underneath here with the air filter, which is easy to get to, keep clean and you know replace filters whenever you need to. 
As far as any, you know, additional components in here, really nothing really to go over. Again, it's all factory OE stuff. Um, again, fuel injected. It's got the, uh, the electric ignition on there for the fuel injection. So all of that's factory. Uh, power steering, power brakes, like I mentioned. Uh, the brakes, again, as I said earlier, all four-wheel disc brakes on this car. Factory radiator to keep it cool as well as the dual electric puller fans that are on this as well to help keep everything cool. Factory AC also, which has been checked over and all functional and blows nice and cold in the car. And other than that, that's pretty much about it as far as the motor goes. Now, again, as I mentioned, the rest of the drive line here, we do have that Borg Warner T6 six-speed manual transmission with the GM 10-bolt uh, 350 gearing uh, with the posi unit um, and then um, as far as the exhaust work on the car we're going to see that a whole lot better whenever we go underneath it here in just a moment but again it is a two and a quarter inch exhaust all the way back through um, it does in fact have the factory um, catalytic converters still installed on it as well as the oe muffler still in the car and everything all looks great on this vehicle from underneath um, so that will be here in just just a few minutes to come so with that said I always kind of take the time right now to let you know that wherever it is that you're viewing this video from if you're not on our company website I always recommend that you go there it's hanksters.com you'll go there you'll see upwards of a hundred photos of this car all the way around photos that you'll be able to click on enlarge check it out really good you know for you know whatever it is your likings are um, and then again you're going to be able to see all of the options uh, a description on the car the retail pricing on it and with that retail pricing you'll see that it does in fact include enclosed shipping to anywhere within the 48 contiguous states um, it also includes our hangsters three month 3,000 mile powertrain warranty as well if you're interested in finding out how exactly the warranty works uh, obviously give us a call email or send us a text we'll be glad to go over that with you it's a very very easy process there but again we will be glad to go over it with you any parts accessories and so forth other than what this car has on it right now if you're interested in changing anything to your likings um, you can obviously do the same thing give us a call hit us up by email or by text and uh, let us know what it is we'll be glad to go over that with you also get your pricing on parts and labor to have whatever it is that you're looking to have done done for you um, so with that said we're pretty much done here we're going to take just a second to close everything up and then we'll get it on our lift and i'll be back with you there to go through the underside of the car and then to finally go ahead and fire this thing up for you as well hey folks here we are now uh, we're back with you we're underneath the uh, 96 trans am here so we're going to go through this just like we do all of our other cars here i'm going to point out to you um, what all that i see underneath here as far as all the components and everything and we're going to go over the condition of everything that we're able to see underneath here um, so starting at the front of the car of course with our trans am you're going to have that front air dam again it's just a plastic air dam here and again more so than than anything instead of the looks on this car because again you really don't see it too much uh, for as far back as it is set on the car um, it's just it's mainly to bring that air up through into the radiator there and help keep things nice and cool for you but again that's all attached good and solid with all the correct hardware um, everything that it would have came with from the factory you've got that underneath here holding that on as far as what's behind that well we've got our radiator here so again we've all already kind of seen the radiator from the top side there it's the factory OE style radiator uh, but we're looking at the bottom here we want to make sure everything is nice and dry no leaks or drips anywhere and that it is there's no leaks or drips anywhere here so all of your lines all of your clamps those are all in good condition here and again nice and dry now as far as the fans go again as we already have seen from up above we've seen that this is a dual 
electric fan. It's the dual polar fans there, so it actually pulls air through the radiator there to help thing, keep things cool. So that's, uh, again, the shrouds and everything for that. It's all kind of a one-piece unit, and it's all intact, all attached, good and secure there. Come back a little further now. And we can talk some about the suspension on the car as far as the front end goes. So, of course, we're going to start off right here in the middle. We've got an inch and a quarter front sway bar on this vehicle. Uh, the sway bar bushings at your frame, as well as the sway bar end links here. Those have all been checked over. They all look to be in good shape. Um, that's going to keep everything nice and tight on that front end for cornering. Um, as far as the rest of the suspension, we just have the factory or OE uh, control arms here, both uppers and lowers. Um, we have, uh, you know, all your bushings at your mounting locations. Those are all in good condition. All your hardware, same thing. Ball joints have all been looked over. Um, everything's all intact there and all good and tight. Uh, steering on this car, power steering. So we always check things out like uh, on this car, you've got the rack on it, but all of your lines and so forth are all in good shape. No leaks or drips there. Tie rod ends are all in good condition too. Rubber dust boot covers all intact on those as well. Back a little further, we've got our cross member here underneath the motor here. And again, that's good and straight here. As you can see here, it does not look like it's been ever hit on anything. So no marks whatsoever on that cross member. Back a little further here. Well, before we go to the engine, let's finish out our corners here. So as far as brakes go, power brakes, disc on all four corners on this vehicle. So you're gonna have lots of braking power here. And that's all factory OE stuff. So again, whenever it comes time to replace pads, rotors, and so forth, you'll be able to go to just about any auto parts store that you can, and you'll be able to pick up those components pretty easily. Wheels and tires, 17 inch wheels on all four corners. These are the factory, those five spoke Pontiac wheels there, uh, the aluminum alloy there. And then as far as the tires, um, Falcon Azenus tires on this car and again all the same size tire um, they are 275 40 um, 17s on this car uh, like I said same tire same tread pattern same size all four corners which makes it very nice when it comes time to do your rotations you just move from front to back and you're good to go now we'll come in and talk about uh, our drive line here so first and foremost we have that uh, what we believe is the original motor for this car but we'll call it period correct after looking at you know all the numbers and so forth for it um, oil pan itself is in good dry condition here as far as your gasket goes the seal the rear of it here there's no signs of any leaks or drips back here uh, and the same thing with that drain plug it is nice and dry also and again that is that LT1 350 uh, 5.7 liter V8 motor um, as far as a transmission goes right behind it here this is the Borg Warner T6 six-speed manual transmission uh, again Again, all of this underneath here is nice and dry and in great condition here as we can see that. Um, all of your lines, all of your electrical connections and everything all look to be in good condition here. Your transmission cross member is in great condition, nice and straight. As you can tell, it probably hasn't been dinged on anything there. And of course, the tail shaft mount, it's in great shape too. We go up to our output shaft seal next. We always check those out. That is in fact where your slip yoke slides in from your drive shaft. And that is nice and dry on this car as well. Frame and the floors, well, as you can see here, your frame sections that we see here, those are good and square. You've still got all of your factory paint underneath here, the factory red underneath. So you can see that, you know, nothing's really been touched on this car. Nothing's been abused on it. It all is still in really great shape. Your floors, obviously there's been no patching, no holes, no nothing, all in great shape. You can still see all of your factory OE stamping 
lines. All of your bracing is here on your floors as well. Pinch welds, rockers, all good and solid on this car. Before we get too far back, we can see our exhaust system here. Well, we've got a full two and a quarter inch exhaust system on this car. Um, and this would be all factory stuff here. So you still have the factory catalytic converters here on the car, two of them. There's one over on the left side, as well as the one coming down off of your right side pipe here. Just your exhaust manifolds up at the motor, of course. Um, all of your O2 sensors and so forth are where they should be, um, all, all functioning also. So your exhaust comes all the way back. And then when we get to the rear of the car, I'll show you the muffler on the car. It's that single muffler, still the original muffler. It's even got the GM part number on there for you. Uh, if, if the time ever comes, you would need to replace it. Uh, but anyways, uh, we'll come back here a little further. As you can see, all of your lines here all run very nicely, just like they were from the factory here. So no changes here. And all your lines are free from any leaks or drips. They're all dry all the way back. Of course, with the suspension setup and the rear end setup that's in these cars, you of course have your torque link here that travels all the way from your rear end housing up to the transmission there. And it's got the bushing and everything up there to cushion that. That's to control that, that pinion snap on the car whenever you get on the gas. Uh, again, all of that is in great shape. Uh, as far as the drive shaft goes, it's going to be a steel drive shaft. It is weighted or balanced so that it eliminates driveline vibrations for you. And as far as the rear end housing itself goes, this is your GM 10 bolt. It does in fact have the posi unit in here with a 350 gear ratio. Uh, rear suspension now on the car. Again, this is going to be all factory OE suspension. Suspension. So your trailing arms, springs, and so forth, all factory stuff here. Um, the shocks, these are going to be the Delco DE carbon shocks um, on all four corners. It does, in fact, also have the three-quarter inch rear sway bar on the car as well. So like I said, with the front, same thing goes for the back here. That sway bar is just going to keep everything nice and tight for you, and it's going to improve the handling on this car whenever you're doing any kind of cornering on on it there whatsoever. Uh, I already mentioned uh, the brakes back here are also disc brakes, um, complete with your parking brake option. Um, so that's all hooked up and functional. Um, all your mounting uh, points, your bushings and so forth for your suspension are all in great shape. You can see how well the uh, actual sway bar uh, linkages and so forth are all um, very nice here, uh, taken care of you know, throughout the life of this car. And the uh, rear diff cover here, nice and dry around that diff cover also. All your brake lines are run nice and neat along that rear end housing. Um, again, we have the pannered bar back here too for this the 96 Trans Am. And that's what laterally locates that, that rear end. Keeps it in place so it doesn't shift around on you. That is factory OE. As I mentioned, the exhaust here, here's your muffler here. One muffler set in here transversely. It's got your dual tailpipes all the way out with the original style exhaust tips that poke through right underneath that rear lower balance and the provisions that are there for it from the factory. Uh, and then the fuel tank. Fuel tank's in great shape too. Um, no dents or dings anywhere there. Uh, everything nice and dry that we can see from underneath here. So that's pretty much it for underneath our, our Trans Am here. Uh, we've gone through from the top side. We did our walk around. We just got done with the underside. So the very next thing we have to do now is we'll lower this down, get it up or get the hood up on it. And we'll go ahead and fire that motor up for you. So you can hear that motor, um, what it sounds like kind of along with this exhaust system. Before we do, um, let me just uh, kind of cut out here real quick and just say, um, for those of you out there looking at all of our cars, um, those of you that are also a car customer of ours, um, we 
are now an ATC trailer dealer. Um, so what I always uh, kind of leave with these videos now is I just want you guys out there to, to know that we are a dealer for them. Uh, you can go to our website and click the drop down menu for our inventory. Click on trailers and that's going to show you all of our trailer inventory of which we have here in stock ready uh, to go out today. Um, if you're interested in anything there, um, I would just recommend that you give us a call, email, or text. Um, let us know what it is that you're looking at. For those of you car customers uh, still looking for a trailer, we can go ahead and offer you some special pricing there also on those units that we have here in stock. Uh, and for the month of April, we have a special sale going on for those, so you'll see the discounts on those. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and lower this down off of the lift, and we'll go underneath the hood so we can fire that motor up for you. 